Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has reportedly blocked an exit for Tom Heaton, with David De Gea's future hanging in the balance. The Telegraph report that Ten Hag has told Heaton that he will not be allowed to leave the club this summer. The 37-year-old asked United to sanction his departure as he wishes to join newly promoted Luton Town. He served as the second-choice goalkeeper last season and featured only twice for the Red Devils. Moving to Luton would be a lucrative option for Heaton. He could be a regular starter for the Premier League's new boys and provide much-needed experience in the English top flight. De Gea has yet to extend his current deal with United, which is set to expire this week. Ten Hag doubts De Gea's ability with the ball at his feet. This could be why United backed off from the initial contract extension they offered to the Spanish international. Dean Henderson has returned to the Trafford training centre ahead of pre-season. However, he will likely leave United with Nottingham Forest willing to spend £30 million to secure his services. If that is the case, the Red Devils will only have Heaton as a senior goalkeeper in the pre-season. United are heavily linked with a move for Inter Milan star goalkeeper Andre Wanana. The 27-year-old will be a fantastic acquisition for the Old Trafford side. He played under Ten Hag for over four years at Ajax and achieved fine success. Even if Wanana is signed, United must have a robust second-choice shot stopper. Considering their need to invest in the other areas of the team, they cannot sign two goalkeepers in one window. Ten Hag has no choice but to block Heaton's move. Manchester United have reached an agreement with Chelsea to acquire the services of Mason Mount, according to The Athletic. Mount has been the subject of discussion between United and Chelsea in recent weeks as both clubs look to strike a deal. After seeing their first two offers rejected, United submitted what was supposed to be a final offer worth £55 million and insisted they were not ready to go over that valuation. However, the Red Devils increased their last bid by a further £5 million in add-ons which has now been accepted by Chelsea who initially wanted £70 million to part ways with Mount. United will look to put the finishing touches on Mount's move in the coming days, with the Englishman already given permission to undergo his medicals. Mount will become Eric Ten Hag's first signing of the summer transfer window amid a period of uncertainty due to United's ongoing takeover saga which is expected to end soon. Off the back of a difficult campaign where he struggled for both form and fitness, Mount heads to Old Trafford with a point to prove. The 24-year-old missed the closing stages of last season through injury but should be back in time for pre-season. Having got a deal for Mount over the line, United can now turn their full attention to the pursuit of other transfer targets. An opening bid for Inter Milan's Andre Wanana has been rejected, with David De Gea's future still hanging in the balance one day before the end of his contract. United are also in the hunt for a new centre-forward, although they may have to wait until their ownership issue is resolved. Harry Kane remains the prime target but with a move for the Tottenham Hotspur man proving difficult, Rasmus Hojland and Gonzalo Ramos are two of United's most viable options. Eintracht Frankfurt rising star Andal Kolo Moani has probably never asked Bruno Fernandes for an endorsement. But the Portuguese playmaker may have done more than he knows to encourage his transfer to Manchester United amid Eric Ten Hag's never-ending search for a new striker. The Red Devils have been in the market for an out-and-out striker since Cristiano Ronaldo departed Old Trafford last year, pursuing several different profiles. Starting with Tottenham Hotspur talisman Harry Kane and Napoli goal-getter Victor Rossiven, Ten Hag has assembled a list of potential targets going into the summer transfer window. However, plagued by financial issues related to their ongoing takeover process, Man United have seemingly given up hope of chasing the household duo. Both players would likely cost upwards of £120 million, which would be a reachable figure for the Premier League heavyweights if only the Glazers could finally sanction the club sale. Since the controversial owners continue to stall the takeover, the Dutch manager has had to update his initial shortlist, adding the likes of Atalanta whiz kid Rasmus Hoogeland and Kolo Muani to his notebook. Hoogeland won't command a staggering price tag.
However, the Red Devils are skeptical about his ability to perform regularly at the highest level after failing to lock down a regular starting berth in Bergamo. Colo Muani's name sparks much more enthusiasm within the Old Trafford hierarchy, considering the Frenchman was a dominant figure in the Bundesliga last season. In his first year in Germany's top flight, the 24-year-old bagged 15 goals and 14 assists across 32 league appearances, emerging as one of the division's headline performers. Speaking to royalties, Fernandes heaped praise on the Frankfurt gem, giving his employers the seal of approval to go and get Colo Muani. Colo Muani, I think he is doing really well, he said. We saw it in the World Cup that he was good, but I think now, during the season, he's been doing even better. I think he's, together with Rafa Leao, one of the most promising players in the world right now. He probably has now the next step to a big club. Man United have noticed the ex nont forward's exponential growth at Deutsche Bank Park but are also aware of his substantial £85 million price tag, which could prove a stumbling block. Apart from Man United, Perennial Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich have also earmarked Kolo Muani as a possible long-term replacement for Robert Lewandowski. However, Bayern have recently launched an offensive to deprive Tottenham of Kane's services, clearing the path to the Frankfurt striker for United. Kane is unparalleled scoring prowess in the Premier League will go down in the history books long after he retired from professional football. But while Tottenham won't find such a prolific goal scorer any time soon, there are no guarantees the Englishman would be as lethal at another club. Kane has spent his entire Premier League career in London, tucking himself into a comfort zone, accustomed to having the whole team playing for him. While Man United woke up from a decade-long sleep during Ten Hag's first season, the Red Devils are still a work in progress, so it could be challenging for the England captain to thrive from the get-go. On top of that, he will turn 30 before the 2023-24 season gets underway. Colo Muani is already a beast, as witnessed by his stellar showings for Frankfurt and his 2022 World Cup exploits with France but he has yet to reach his peak powers. In terms of price, he would be a slightly cheaper alternative, but there's no denying his potential arrival would still cost Man United a fortune. But paired with his peers, such as Marcus Rashford, Anthony, and Jadon Sancho, this new wave of promising young talents could go a long way in shaping a new generation at Old Trafford. Unlike Kane, the Frenchman's game lacks some finesse, but if Ten Hag can polish his potential, United will get a top-class striker for years to come. Manchester United agreed a transfer fee with Chelsea to sign midfielder Mason Mount on Thursday. After multiple bids, the Red Devils eventually accepted to pay £55 million plus £5 million in add-ons for the 24-year-old. His arrival could pave the way for the departures of Fred and Donny van der Beek. Fred was in and out of the starting lineup for United last term. The £52 million signing produced some outstanding displays but between those, he had several under-par performances too. This has been the highlight of his United career. With a year left on his contract, the Red Devils are now open to selling him for £20 million. Fulham could be the next destination for the 30-year-old. Meanwhile, Van der Beek has been a huge disappointment since his big money move from Ajax in 2020. In three seasons, the Dutchman has managed just two goals and two assists from 60 games. On the contrary, he registered a goal contribution in every other game during his time at Ajax. Van der Beek is currently making his way to full fitness after a knee surgery, but we won't be surprised if United are prepared to cut their losses on the midfielder, who cost £36 million three years back. It is unclear whether any club would be willing to spend on him after his recent injury. United may need to accept a cut price deal or negotiate a loan exit with a buy option for next summer. Aside from the duo, Hannibal Medjbury could be another player on the firing line this summer, though we anticipate him to leave on a season-long loan to another Premier League outfit. Eric Ten Hag may want to assess his performances at the top level before deciding the next step.